New tonight at 10 this week marks the start of the highly controversial star testing. And while students and teachers work all year to prepare, some lawmakers in Austin are working to put an end to what they're calling testing madness. KETK's My Owens shows us what's behind this classroom controversy. Over 5 million students are expected to take the star test, but not that many kids are passing. Seven years ago, professors found the reading portion of the test were two to three years advanced for the students taking it. And just last year, they found much of the reading portion still was not at the right reading level, causing lawmakers to take a second look at STAR. We've had meetings over the years, and the evidence is there that these STAR tests, these high-stakes tests are way out of line with what the children are being taught. But some educators in East Texas say the test is simply pushing students to be better. It's always good to raise the bar. I think it's always good to have high expectations. As long as you're giving students a chance to be successful with those higher expectations, I think it's great. Senator Menendez has filed three bills. The first to reduce the number of standardized tests to the number that's federally required to call for an independent group to analyze the test. And the third, to stop the test completely until it's been analyzed. For me, this is one of my top priorities. With students having to retake the test until they pass, STAR is a priority throughout Texas. If you haven't passed all of them by the end of your senior year, then you cannot get a, a diploma. With the pressure on in the classroom and at the Capitol, senators are hoping to have the issue resolved before the end of the session. My Owens, KETK News.